surface. Um, suppose uh, this is one circuit. Okay, uh, usually the common circuit where the Zener diode is connected. I think I explained about Zener breakdown. Am I right, Nana? Yes, sir. And you can connect that at Zener breakdown. Okay. And here, this is the circuit what we are taking. Here I connect to one Z naught diode. And then to maintain the constant potential at Z naught breakdown, I am connecting here one external circuit resistor. Here I am connecting the external resistor. Okay. Like this. This is the external resistor I connect here. Okay. And then here I connect the source. This is the source. Okay. And then here I connect. This is the external circuit resistor like a TV or something, a fridge or something, some external appliance. Okay, the resistance of that external appliance, I'm taking it as RL. Okay, why? Because we are finally getting some potential difference across these two points. Okay, uh, that is maintained constant because of this Z0 diode, which is connected in parallel, maintains a constant potential difference, but we have to take care that it should be operated at a breakdown voltage, a Zener breakdown, not avalanche breakdown, Zener breakdown voltage. So here, uh, suppose this is the Z shape, the Z shape means I connected here, the Zener diode, that I think you understood. Previously, I give the circuit diagram for it, the symbol for it. And here, uh, this is N, N should be connected to positive, and P should be connected to negative, uh, means high potential and low potential, then only it is said to be in reverse bias. So this is surely, according to the given connection, it is in reverse bias. Okay. And here we don't know the resistance of this one, keep in mind. And between these two points, okay, sure. And this one here, now you are listening, Mr. Sairam. Uh, then coming back to here, this is a reverse bias. Okay, and some potential difference I'm maintaining. Uh, let it be V, okay, the source voltage. And here, suppose these are the points, say, A and B. This is C and D. Okay, Nana, sir. How can you record Mr. Sachin? Then coming back to here, um, here these are the points A, B and C, D. Since they are in parallel, surely I can say, how can I know? V across here, A and B is equals to V across C and D. Why? Because in between there is no resistor, in between there is no resistor, straight away you know in current electricity, the PD across these two points is equal to the PD across C and D. No need to explain. I think all of you know this point. And here I am maintaining what in this uh, circuit diagram, okay, this is numerical part, Nana. Right, the, the same circuit they give in exam. I will show a few examples related to it, okay. And here, what he says, the Zener diode, uh, this is the main important point, okay? Mm, the Zener diode, Zener diode is, of course, connected in reverse bias, that is damn sure, uh, in reverse bias, no doubt, uh, and maintains Uh, maintained it to operate 
uh, to uh, maintain it at uh, Z not breakdown. Z not breakdown. Voltage. Z not breakdown voltage means directly you can say uh, there suddenly the current increases abnormally, uh, but the potential remains constant. This point already I explained previously. So here, if you come to that point at the Zena breakdown voltage, V across AB, I take it as Vz, okay, uh, which is constant since it is maintained at breakdown voltage. And V across CD, usually in numericals, we take it as VL. Why? Because this is load resistor. So across these two, it is VL, okay. Since they are in parallel straight away, that equals to, I can write it as V set. Okay. So this is, uh, this breakdown voltage in exam, they will give nano. Means indirectly, they will give what is the potential difference across the load resistor. And it is a constant one. Okay. Now observe clearly here. You know the potential difference across the load resistor, which is equals to breakdown voltage. And you know the resistance so that how much current is flowing through this resistor, you can calculate. That is IL. Okay. So when you come to numericals, they will ask well, how much current is flowing through the load resistor. That IL, you can use the Ohm's law here. VL is equals to I into R, IL into RL. By this, you can write IL is equals to, actually, I have to write VL by RL, but VL is equals to VZ. So VZ by RL. Okay, this is one formula, usually what we use while solving the numericals, keep in mind. Okay, and here in the previous class, someone asked, okay, sir, here, suppose, I maintained uh, like, uh, uh, say, suppose 250 volts. I maintained here, okay? Direct germanium or silicon diode can't maintain this much a barrier potential, uh, sorry, breakdown potential in the reverse bias. So usually I take the alloy nano, like uh, arsenic, germanium, such type of alloy I take, okay? Which can maintain high potential difference at the breakdown voltage without break. Okay, so alloy I'm taking here, that alloy uh, here, suppose maintains some 230 volts. Then look at here, the circuit is unbalanced. Observe, this is 250. And here, suppose I won't connect anything. Of course, it is taken like a straight line here like this, a direct connection without connecting anything there. Then observe the loop law. It is violating the rules of loop law. Am I right? Yes, sir. Correct, Anana? Uh, so, out of 250, Zena diode is taking 230 breakdown voltage. So, remaining 20, someone should take. Okay. That's why what I'm doing here to split the 250 volts. Okay, like 20 plus 230, total 250 in this loop, and connecting one resistor here. This resistor is called as voltage splitter nano, okay, which splits the voltage 250 into like 230 and something. Sir, if I apply 270, sir, no problem. 270 means here 230, that will take 40. Total 270. If it is 250, it takes 20 and this is 230. Now you understood the concept here, Nana? Understood. All right, A, B, C, D. You take these two points as E and F, okay? Actually, this is the current coming from the source. Let it be I. That I only here splits like current through Zeno diode in reverse bias. This is I, Z. Keep in mind, in reverse bias, the current flows from N region to P region. I think you remember. That's why my symbol is correct. Okay, correct, Nana, reverse bias flow? Correct. All right, good. So here, if you come to, uh, this is some, I say, resistor connected in series, series resistor, RS. Then I can say the voltage across that resistor 
okay with this example i think now you can say very easily suppose voltage across uh, these two points e and f as v s then you can say next point here like this what sir here v s is equals to you can write uh, current through it total current i'm taking it as i instead of i s i into r s okay by this you can find out i what is the total current in the circuit i is equals to v s by r s sir you can find out i correct is sir but r s is given v s is not given yes you are right v s is not given but v and v z are given so according the loop law why don't you write next point as using the loop law v is equals to okay or else using the loop law minus 2 plus plus v and here in the direction of current minus i into rs that is vs and in the direction of current minus uh, iz into rz which is vz okay so loop law is complete loop is completed so that equals to zero using the loop law so that you can write what is vs here that implies i can write vs is equals to v minus vz this one previously what i told like a 250 is equals to 20 plus 230 so 20 is equals to 250 minus 230 that i wrote here 250 minus 230 equals to 20 okay and then here uh sir vz unknown sir but it is maintained at uh, breakdown voltage no? vz is nothing but vl so or you can write this one as v minus vl is equals to vs okay by this you can find out vs after finding out of after finding out vs you can find the total current then you may ask what is the use of finding out the total current sir simple in exam they ask here what is the current through the zener diode so current through the zener diode means why don't we use the ohms law vz is equals to iz into rz yes your question is correct but rz resistance of zener diode who gave to you they won't give na? that's why by this i think you can calculate vz is equals to uh, sorry iz equals to vz by rz rz you don't know that's why i think you can't calculate iz here am i right nana yes sir uh, so the resistance at the breakdown voltage we don't know that's why directly you can't apply the ohms law to find out the current through zener diode and we have to search for indirect method what sir junction law total current is i splits like iz and il so you have to find out here iz using the junction law i is equals to iz plus il at the junction a that implies you can write the current through zener diode is equals to i minus il very simple so here to find out the current through zener diode what are required i is required il is required okay so once you check here i gave in the problem no so you have to find out i how to find i sir using the formula vs by rs vs given to you in the problem no that's why vs we have to calculate by using these two anyone okay after finding out finally you can find out i is il given to you no that's why we have to find out il using the formula vs vz by rs okay vz given yes it is given in the numeric that's why you can find out il you can find out i by using vs this formula and then finally you can find out i in the circuit now you understood nana this concept what i explained here for the numerical problem understood sir all yes. ah, right good here the question i think all of you understood if the supplied voltage like a 250 and this is like 230 that is v is greater than vz how to solve the problem we know okay 
Sometimes due to fluctuations, instead of 250, suppose I get the low voltage from the source. Low voltage means already Zener diode prepared to operate at 230. So it is your responsibility to maintain a voltage greater than 230. Why? Because already you connected RS in the circuit. This is the motherboard. On the motherboard, this circuit already fixed. That's why it is your responsibility to maintain V more than Vz. Then you may ask, sir, it is out of my hand, sir. The fluctuations I can't control. Okay, it is common due to the fluctuations at the transformer. Sometimes I get low voltage to my home. Sometimes I get more voltage to my home. So it is out of my hand, sir. Yes, you are right. Suppose if the voltage is 210 at an instant and this is 230, you only think what happens? According to the formula Vs is equals to I into Rs, here this is 210 means, will it maintain the breakdown voltage, Nana? No, sir. Less than uh, means in the Zener diode breakdown voltage, yes. We can't maintain a breakdown voltage. This is your breakdown uh, circuit. Okay, actually it will come like this. Ah, so this is the breakdown. Okay, this is 210 means even though it is zero, which is not possible, keep in mind, Nana. It is zero means current is zero. That's why at least if I take like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or one volt here, I'm getting not 230, the breakdown voltage, I'm getting here 209 volts. This is breakdown 239. At 230 volts, the advantage what we found, the breakdown volt, no, no, internet is becoming unstable now. Take care. Sir, I am not asking for this. I am not asking for this. I am not asking for this, sir. Is it not asking for this? Now, sir. I am not asking for this one V and not for this, sir. I am not asking for this. Is it not asking for V minus Vs minus Vz equals to zero? Yes, that's one. Last time, I had to go to 210. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to go to 210. Yeah. We are using the Zener diode like this here. At the breakdown, actually connected to operate at 230 volts. For example, whereas you are maintaining 210, okay, due to fluctuation. Suppose I got 209 across the Zener diode, okay, and across series resistor, suppose I got 1 volt at that instant. Means it is going to operate somewhere here, Nana. Na. Yeah, yeah, it is breaking, Nana. I can't do anything for it. Are you able to hear my voice? In this sir. Ah, yeah, voice is clear. Ah, okay, okay, right. Uh, so you are giving a voltage of not 230, suppose 209. It is not operating at the breakdown voltage. That's why problem is the current through the diode is decreased or not. By that, what happened? Decreased, sir. Uh, the voltage decreased. across the resistor also decreased. VL also decreased. Why? Because this is not 230, 209. VL is decreased means current through the load resistor is also decreased. Means your appliance won't work properly here. Okay. That time, actually, it should cut off the current to your appliance. Uh, not to uh, see any damage to the internal parts. Okay. Can you with the Zener diode problem is still it is sending the current through your resistor. Actually, it requires 230 volts, but you are giving 209 volts. By that current also decrease. By this, the internal circuit uh, there, what you connected the elements like a transistor, diode, whatever you connected, resistor, whatever, 
there they are doing more work to maintain 230 volts they are trying to generate more heat by that what happened here the elements are getting damaged inside that the zener they are not able to do so if the voltage is less than the operating voltage it should cut off okay for this this zener diode is not able to regulate if we applied is now are you able to see the screen again no sir now ochin sir ah right aina screen lo em led just explanation only we discuss correct ana yes sir so that point better i write here in continuation if v is less than okay uh, v z plus v s or simply less than v z that is breakdown voltage uh the zener diode cannot break the circuit cannot break the circuit this is the problem by that we are getting some damage to the elements so here to cut the current passing through your resistor we are connecting here some stabilizer which is external stabilizer some box which maintains some constant potential difference whatever you connected here the same voltage of zener diode but the stabilizer do what if the voltage is less than this vz it cut off the current to the load resistor you are set you are uh, what uh, we are taking um, the uh, appliance by that your appliance will be survived now you understood nana why you are connecting e even though zener diode behaves as voltage stabilizer why you connected uh, the external stabilizer outside someone asked in the previous class you put clarifying the your doubt yes sir andukani uh, even though yes, they sir. write on the fridge or tv or something blah 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 inbuilt stabilizer okay don't believe that inbuilt stabilizer okay we have to connect external stabilizer okay to survive your appliance from the fluctuations high fluctuations this is the story now okay so i think i explained all your doubts and the points do you have any doubts more more doubts do you have nana inka emaina unnaya sir yes yes no sir ah uh, yeah mr nihant what sir ante ippudu స్టెబిలైజర్ కనెక్ట్ చేస్తే మనకి లెస్ వోల్టేజ్ వస్తే ఆగిపోతుందా దాంట్లో లైక్ థెర్మిస్టర్స్ టైప్ లో ది కనెక్ట్ వన్ అంటే సర్క్యూట్ ఇలా ఉంటుంది నాన్న లైక్ వన్ నెయిల్ ఇక్కడ ఇలా కనెక్ట్ అయ్యి ఇలా దిస్ ఇస్ కనెక్ట్ అయ్యి అంటే ఇది ఎక్స్టర్నల్ సోర్స్ ఇలా ఉంటుంది సపోజ్ వోల్టేజ్ ఇస్ లెస్ మనకి ఏమవుతుంది అంటే ఇది ఇలా బెండ్ అయిపోతుంది థర్మల్ ఎక్స్పాన్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ సాలిడ్స్ కాన్సెప్ట్ నాన్న ఓకే ఒక వోల్టేజ్ మెయింటైన్ అయినప్పుడు ఇట్ మెయింటైన్స్ అట్ సమ్ పర్టిక్యులర్ టెంపరేచర్ ఓకే సార్ ఇన్ ద కనెక్షన్ లో ఉంటుంది సో కరెంట్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ కరెంట్ పాసెస్ త్రూ యువర్ అప్లియన్స్ అండ్ ద సర్క్యూట్ ఇస్ క్లోజ్ ఇప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వోల్టేజ్ తక్కువైంది అనుకో హియర్ ద టెంపరేచర్ విల్ బి లెస్ బై దట్ థర్మిస్టర్ ఏమ అంటే బై మెటల్ స్ట్రిప్ నా వాట్ ఐమ్ సేయింగ్ గుర్తొస్తుందా గుర్తొస్తుంది సార్ దట్ టైం మై బై మెటల్ స్ట్రిప్ విల్ బెండ్ లైక్ దిస్ అప్పుడు సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేక్ అవుతుంది సర్క్యూట్ బ్రేక్ ఎప్పుడైతే బ్రేక్ అవుతుందో నో కరెంట్ ఫ్లోస్ త్రూ యువర్ అప్లియన్స్ సర్వైవ్ అయిపోతుంది బట్ దోస్ ఫ్లక్చువేషన్ షుడ్ బి స్లో నాన్న ఫాస్ట్ ఫ్లక్చువేషన్స్ ఉంటే ఇట్ టేక్స్ సమ్ టైమ్ టు బెండ్ కదా దే కెన్ నాట్ బి అవాయిడెడ్ అండ్ సపోజ్ లైట్నింగ్ స్ట్రైక్స్ ద ఎలక్ట్రిక్ వైర్ అప్పుడు వచ్చే ఫ్లక్చువేషన్స్ నో బడీ కెన్ స్టాప్ ఓకే ఎందుకంటే అట్ హై వోల్టేజ్ లైటింగ్ అది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ వైర్ స్టక్ అయింది అనుకో ఈ కరెంట్ అంతా నీ ఇంట్లోకి వచ్చేస్తుంది 
at that time oh, suddenly the current raises to actually 230 volts man intiki raavalsindi it goes up to almost 2 lakh voltage ikkada kelli potundi inta fluctuation it can't bear adi z naught diode aina external stabilizer aina that's why lightning vachar kuda andukane pedda vaallu antuntaru better you stop all electric appliances anni switch off chesi plug lo nunchi you have to remove the uh, that holder holder nunchi that plug we have to remove otherwise reverse current one again gone i think ah this is the problem what we found nana okay so i have to write that point again right no problem and now you understood the concept first yes sir yes sir okay. if we are recording it sir ah yeah yeah i'm recording v is less than vz adu adu rasan adu screenshot teeskunnam sir ante dan continuation raddam inke inga okay sir ide phase v is less than vz that is breakdown voltage what i said nana uh the z not diode edo cheppana point break the circuit doesn't uh, break the circuit uh, yeah the z not diode does not break the circuit okay right good um sir ha ah. yes yes sir one doubt sir yes suppose sir we are uh, we fix we fix the circuit sir in the motherboard that resistor that voltage resistor and uh, zener diode and our external appliance yeah 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 uh, means sir when 230 volts when the company supplies us 230 volts correctly not the company. resistor will be there no sir in the circuit ah yes 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 always it, 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 then that time also it will split some current no sir yeah 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 so we will get less than 230 volts in zena diode no sir ah less than 230 volts problem is it is not working at breakdown voltage nana no? that is the problem when v is less than voltage the z not diode is not working at breakdown voltage na no? Yes, at the sir. breakdown voltage the advantage main advantage is you have to understand one point here due to the fluctuations means high voltages whatever the extra current you are getting here if the voltage is increased the current also will be will be increased nana i are you accepting this point yes sir yes sir uh current will be increased yes sir so that the extra current suppose passes through your load resistor it will get damaged okay that's why they write they print the values also okay. like the voltage should be 230 volts like the current should be like some 2 milliamps they print these values nana like 0.5 milliamps okay more than that current it should not pass through the appliance so suppose sir this is 2 amp milliamps okay, sir the current is 5 milliamps sir at that time it takes 3 milliamps sir excellent work suppose it is say some 100 milliamps then it should take only 2 milliamps na then how much current should yes, pass sir. through the zener diode 98 milliamps am i right according to the junction law 100 is equals to 98 plus 2 yes sir so without yes, changing sir. the voltage the zener diode should take whatever the fluctuations it is getting here if the applied voltage is greater than vz those fluctuation currents should not pass through the your resistor should pass through zener diode only should pass through zener diode means look at the zener diode here at the breakdown voltage you can take any amount of current correct ah yes sir without changing the potential Means you can, can take, take any 90 and out ah but if you send thousands yes. or lakhs of current it can't bear that's what i'm saying okay. now you understood 
understood oh, right so what is the main purpose yes, if v is greater than v z the extra current should not pass through your appliance should pass through zener diode should pass through zener diode means without changing the voltage that's why we must operate the zener diode at the breakdown now is it clear okay sir oh, yes right. sir. good uh, now come to here such an correct non resistance we use uh, uh, external stabilizer used to, to cut off the circuit now uh, safety mechanism correct only during the fluctuations. You are right, Mr. Nickel Guru. Uh, so here, when I come to like few problems related to Zena diode, what they gave previously in exam. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I say one circuit from 2019. Okay, this is one example I'm taking here. Um, uh, he gave the circuit like this, Nana. Here he connected one external resistor. Okay. Here he connected one external resistor. And here he connected the Zener diode. Uh, same circuit turned by 90 degrees. Manner. I think you understood here Zener diode. So across the Zener diode in parallel, the load resistor is connected uh, like this. Okay, this is the load resistor and here he connected. Okay. And here he maintained some potential difference between these two points. Okay, some DC source is connected. Clearly, he mentioned. Uh, figure shows a DC voltage regulator circuit with a Zener diode of breakdown voltage 6 volts. Here, he said the breakdown voltage is 6 volts at now. Okay, so in the problem, he gave Vz is equals to 6 volts. Okay. Yeah, uh, if it is unregulated input voltage uh, varies in between 10 to 16, it means not regulated fluctuations. You are seeing not sending some constant voltage. You are uh, that fluctuates in between 10 volts to 16 volts. Fluctuates. This is a fluctuating input. input voltage, okay, that equals to uh, 10 to 16 fluctuations you can see. Then here this series resistance is given as RS is equals to 2 kilo ohms and the load resistance he gave here as 4 kilo ohms question given in 2019 on uh, 12th April. Okay, then here from this circuit, he is asking, actually he asked only one question. Nana. What is the maximum Zener current through the Zener diode? Okay, he is asking IZ, IZ maximum equals to, he is asking, but I am extending the question. Okay, if IZ is the maximum current, that is equals to how much? Question number one. And number two, I am asking extra question here. IZ is suppose minimum current, then IZ, minimum current, then that IZ equals to how much? This is the question. I think you can solve it. Mm, anybody unmute and try to say the answer for this one means method nana ever in a tapagal here sir and 
వోల్టేజ్ ఫ్లక్చువేట్ అవుతుంది కాబట్టి అంటే సిక్స్టీన్ వోల్ట్స్ వోల్టేజ్ వచ్చినప్పుడు మనకి వోల్టేజ్ అక్రాస్ జీన్ ఆర్ డైవర్డ్ ఎక్కువ వస్తుంది సార్ వోల్టేజ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎట్ బ్రేక్ డౌన్ వోల్టేజ్ కదా అవును VZ6A కరెంట్ సర్ విల్ గెట్ కరెంట్ మోడ్ సర్ అట్ 16 వోల్ట్ ఆ అదే సర్ అంటే అదే కరెంట్ చేంజ్ రైట్ యు ఆర్ రైట్ కరెంట్ చేంజ్ when it is 10 volts you will get minimum current correct ah on sir ah yeah yeah correct so here what you have to do first iz and we have to calculate everything nana and we have to calculate first i i and we require vs what is the vs here when uh, v is equals 16. to 16 volts then vs is equals to here 10 sir ah 10 and because this is 6 volts covered right so v minus vz oh, that is uh, 16 minus 6 that is equals to 10 volts if vs is equals to 10 volts what is the current through that series resistor ps by rs correct and 10 by 2000 ah 2 2 uh, uh, kilo so can i write it as 5 milli nano yes sir ah 5 milli correct mm, this is 5 out of 5 how much is passing through this and we have to come to know what is il here mari il how to calculate 6 by 4000 Ah, right. VL by RL. Ohm's law. VL is nothing but VZ. That is 6. Are you able to follow none, all of you? Meeta Vallu. Yes, sir. Ah, right, right, right. Very good. And then here, VL is nothing but VZ. VZ by RL. That is 6 by 4. I think 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means 1.5 milliampere. Correct? Why? Because again, it is kilo ohms. right ah uh, then answer is over that implies iz maximum is equals to mm, iz minus ah uh, right i minus il that is 3.5 correct anna right ah uh, in the same way when v is equals to how much we have to take 10 second one v is equals to 10 volts then vl vs is equals to how much nana 4 volts 4 volts ah 10 minus 6 that is equals 4 volts very good by that is i is equals to how much nana 4 vs by, by rs kada 2 milliampere ah 4 by 2 ah right that is equals to 2 milliampere very good il no need to calculate already you calculated that is constant nana il voltage stabilizer kada idi regulator okay il already you calculated how much 1.5 ah uh, therefore that implies iz minimum is equals to i minus il that is 2 minus 1.5 that is equals to 0.5 milliamps So, sir, whatever the fluctuations more than Vz you get, the extra current is taken by the Zener diode only. It is sending Papam through the load resistor constant 1.5. Now, you understood the concept of Zener diode, Nana? Understood. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, any doubts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, in this example, correctly, if we supply ah. six volts only, sir. in iz ah. vz we supply sir then ah. then that again that 6 volt uh, will it split sir uh, for r uh, r then uh, you only tell here 6 there 6 means here any uh, voltage you get across the series resistor no short circuited that's understood ah short circuited very good yes understood okay yes yeah. right uh here nana do you want the pages this kunara from the pages